As I said, colleagues, the mandate of UNESCO to support media development and also to promote media freedom. And that's why we found it very necessary to support and to join this initiative by the Eastern African Editors Forum that was spearheaded by the Kenya Editors Guild. We also do appreciate the support from the media personalities, the friends and partners that have come on board. And uh, the importance of this partnership uh, with energy that we have created in promoting freedom in this region and indeed on the continent, we cannot do it alone. And that's why uh, allowing editors to appreciate the, sub the additional support that you have received from the Open Society Initiative for Eastern Africa. We do thank them for joining efforts with us and we look forward to working with them and taking forward the recommendations from this meeting. As well as the previous meeting, uh, as a to this meeting, this should never be a one-off. It should never be a discussion. It should never be something that we need to discuss and then go and meet after one As in ESCO, we are looking forward to strengthening the regional editors forum. And also, I heard you say that you'll be looking into admitting and South Sudan in the editors from Western Africa. And I believe this should start immediately. But before you do so, could you also look into the issues of strengthening the national editors' forums and also make, ensuring that they have the capacity that is going to address the issues at the national level? We'll be more than happy to join you, uh, Editors Guild, because we know right now we have a serious gap in terms of a strong uh, media body in this region. We know previously, and I'm saying this with a lot of caution, we've had many, many initiatives, but because of the internal dreams and uh, their concerns, issues, a lot of these media, especially for Africa, have not affected enough for to have the editors forum fill this gap. So this is a challenge to you, and it's also a challenge to us to support you. This webinar platform, as uh, the previous speakers have said, uh, we will continue to support you. We know there's an initiative by the editors uh, to have uh, three week uh, webinar trainings uh, uh, covering the uh, safety of journalists and uh, the response to COVID 19. And of course, the review journal that our colleague from Uganda has mentioned. We're looking forward to continue supporting and to contribute in every way, but more so to also ensure that your activity is also a major activity. Is being now we do have issues your editors forum at the continental level to build a, a hub uh, for journalists that. We can have a one-stop uh, of um, uh, hub for all the information that they need regarding COVID-19. And uh, we hope that the initiatives at the Eastern African regional level, at the national level, will also be reinforced by what we are doing at the continental level. May I say, because we uh, are working with um, the return to the African Union, you do have platforms where you can hear your views. And I had somebody say one very important point. Before we think about Sorry to say, and quote our debt in Yemen, the international fora. Why do we trust our own national initiatives? Why don't we trust our own uh, regional platforms and national platforms to advocate for the issues that are affecting our region? Why can't we strengthen the editors' forum at the level to advocate for these issues? Why can't we use the special rapporteur for freedom of expression and access to information um, within the African Commission for People and Human Rights to advocate and to raise awareness of all these issues that are affecting us? Let's believe in our own good solutions because even the buy-in by the people that need to be addressed, particularly the political class, would be much higher if these solutions are coming from us and suggestions are coming from us. For anyone who has worked with the African Union, anything that seems for a really like top-down approach does not work with our governments, does not work with our leaders, it does not work in the African Union. Therefore, it is necessary and absolutely necessary we need our own plan, trust, and we work. 
For this uh, partners, UNESCO is fully cognizant of the fact that independence of journalism is a lot of pressure. There is a very strong uh, approach to capture that we intimidate in order to hamper journalists in their daily work. And they are doing so influence free flow information. This is something we need to and working with you to provide any possible support and solution that can help your work every day. And I've listened to many things that have been discussed today, the concerns about independence of journalism, but, uh, the major issues. In fact, the internet companies having become the primary curators uh, of journalistic content and some of them operating business models as giving up to the media. But as we all know, the mainstream media remains very pertinent, it's very relevant, and we have come up with solutions that are going to make it survive. We are also concerned at this very moment as UNESCO on the level of the level of epidemic around the COVID-19. And this is leading to the disinformation and misinformation in a very unprecedented manner. But we all want to have said today that information is eight. The people of the right information it saves lives. And this is something we cannot begin with. And as Director General, as the Director General Audrey Ozurei has said in her statement, which we have shared with you, we are in a time when we are mad by in worry and uncertainty because of the coronavirus disease. The partake and free from information is essential in helping face this disease and they are the thinking over this crisis. And we need to support you behind the media. And in, in response to this, UNESCO is teaming up with the United Nations family, their partners at national level, regional level, and global level to support many initiatives at this point. And before I close, let me highlight a few of the things that perhaps you could also link up to the advantage job that we are supporting at national level, particularly from the Addis office, that is the resort to the African Union. Some of these include support to community media because we know currently and right now one of the platforms that really resonates with the people that do not have access to the print media is a community media. And for example, in Ethiopia, we are working with community radio network to establish, and we have established not two digital information sharing platforms. <laughs> Also, this is something that we really look forward to working with you as editors in this um, region. We, UNESCO and W, come up with a MOOC, a massive open online course <coughs> that is on COVID 19. And we're working with partners, particularly at IF, Forum, in the continent, and of course, the African Union, see. And we will be looking forward to working with you the editors for on the national level to localize and contextualize this MOOC so that we can operate um, online and specifically make sure that the MOOC has units that respond to the concerns we are raising today. Also at the continental level, as you may know, the African Union has the Pan-African uh, for an e-learning university. We are working with them also to contextualize this uh, MOOC on COVID-19 and many other MOOCs that we think that would really provide a platform for journalists to have the right training. As you've seen during this crisis, honestly, there's a lot we can do online. We do not have to spend millions of dollars meeting physically. We can still utilize the online platforms. And these are the innovations that we need to work with you. If you have good ideas, share with us to ensure that no one is left behind, not those people that are really never able to attend these meetings at the global level or regional level, but we can contextualize whatever is relevant to us and come up with innovations and ideas that can respond to the challenges we have identified today. On this note, uh, partners, as I, I want to reiterate that I have supported the way forward, some of the things that you have said and we'll be looking forward to working with you. 
We are not saying that we have the funding to do so, but UNESCO has the mandate to mobilize the funding when it comes to media development, when it comes to issues of promoting freedom of expression and media independence. 